Good morning YouTube, so with today's video, I do not have my notes written for this video, but I'm like, I got to do it because this fragrance is an oldie, but is a goldie, as Casey Kasem would say, as it came out in 1998, but it is such an amazing yet gorgeous scent. Givenchy P. It's actually P, not Pi. A lot of us do pronounce it Pi, but correct pronunciation is Givenchy P. 1998, classed as an amber woody. Now the note breakdown, I'm just gonna read it from Fragrantica, and I'll tell you what I get. Now, I have been wearing this for like the last two weeks. This is like, was like my signature scent, if you want to say, for the last two weeks. Top notes are gonna be mandarin orange, tarragon, rosemary, and basil, with the mid being anise, neroli, geranium, and lily of the valley, and the base is gonna be almond, tonka bean, benzoin, cedar, and vanilla. So what do I get from this one here? This opens up sweet. It's sweet from top to bottom. That's all I gotta state. Sweet, a little ambery, so it's gonna be that benzoin. You're gonna get the vanilla for sure. The vanilla is the main takeaway to this gorgeous beauty here but there's also that almond or that nutty accord. There is a little bit of warm spices that's gotta be that, that anise, and the dry, like the base itself, is still gonna be that, that vanilla and that amber, but with a little bit of woods. It's mostly amber and vanilla with like a bit of a powdery dry down. This stuff, oh my God. I'm selling it right now because trust me, it's that good. This can be a little bit too sweet if you over apply. I would do three sprays and no more, all right? Even though that this is a sweet scent, it is sexy. There is a certain classiness to it. This is not like a club scent in my opinion. You can wear it to the club in all honesty, but for me, it just has a little bit of a like a grown up, classy, sexy feel to it. This is for the fall and winter time. It's pretty versatile, but for you to really pull this one off, you have to be on your A game when it comes to your manners, your style, your wardrobe, your swag, how you carry yourself. I would wear this with something a lot better than what this is. You know, a lot of people saying, well, of course, it's the NYPD. You know, we're not gonna get into that, okay? This is just a, a plain, comfortable hoodie that I got last time I was in New York City. But I would dress this with a nice sweater, a turtleneck, a nice pair of jeans or like a nice pair of khakis, dress pants. But you could wear this with a suit and tie. Absolutely, no problem. I think it's a great date fragrance. You know, if you wear this on a date, your date's gonna like it on you. But here's a little caveat. 1998, it's 25 years old this year. Your date may have smelt this on previous partners. Maybe, maybe not. But if you're in an established relationship, I guarantee that your partner is gonna like this regardless. Just be easy on the applications. Longevity on this, and I bet you that this is reformulated, I wouldn't be surprised. For me, I got nine to 10 hours consecutively. Consecutively, nine, 10 hours. So if it's been reformulated, which it more than likely has, that's still excellent. Even after 25 years, this is still being sold retail. Macy's, Hudson's Bay, where I was at earlier today, Hugo Boss, Hugo Jeans on, on this hand here. Not bad, actually. They're still selling this across the street at the Hudson's Bay Company. So even after 25 years, it's still making Givenchy that bread, that money. But I would get this online instead of retail. Canadian-wise, this ranges anywhere from $50 to $80 Canadian. You convert that, $50 USD is about $40 USD to like $60, $65 USD. For me, that's really good bang for your buck. So if you're looking for something sexy, but classy, you know, a gentleman scent. You know, even though that it is a very old fragrance, late 90s, generally old fragrances are not gonna resonate with the younger demographics. I bet you that a lot of the young people are wearing this, including us old guys. Gen X right here, 46 years old in less than a month. A lot of guys my age still rock this to this very day. So if you haven't smelt this one out, 
You're doing yourself an injustice, especially if you're getting into this journey. Look into it. I guarantee you, if you like sweet vanilla ambery scents, you're gonna like this one. But once again, just be easy on the applications. Don't wear this in the summertime. You're just an asshole. You gotta be a gentleman to really pull this one off. And when I wear this, I feel like a gentleman. I'm a sexy beast. I get that. I really, I truly do. I'm also a douche bro. That, there's no denying that. But when I wear this, I feel like a confident modern day gentleman. So guys, that is my quick take of Givenchy P. If you have smelt this one, let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this very video, leave me one of these. Any other videos that I've done on this brand, they will all be in the description box below. And what videos to watch next? Well, because that this is a winter designer, why don't you check out this side here? I thank for your time, take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody.